Hey everybody, this is Brett, and today I'm super excited to go over this brand new 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara. This is stock number 24J142. I'm here at Summit Auto in Fond du Lac, Wisconsin, your new and used Jeep and Jeep Wrangler headquarters. And I'm gonna go all the way around on this Wrangler today. We're gonna to check out all the options that it has. It is very nicely equipped. It does have the Sky One Touch power top on it. And it also has the McKinley leather seats. So we'll go over all of that. All of the Saharas come standard with the two liter turbocharged four cylinder engine. They all are four doors. So that's the only configuration that you can get this vehicle in. And as far as the engine goes, it's 270 horsepower and 290 foot, five foot pounds of torque. And it's gonna get you 20 miles per gallon city highway and of course an average of 20 miles per gallon. If you like the video, consider subscribing to the YouTube channel, do videos like this each and every day. This paint color is called Earl Clear Coat and the paint code is PGP if you were curious. But we're gonna get into this one right away, starting off with the updated grill for the 2024 mid-model refresh that Jeep did on the Wrangler. You get a shorter grill here, still seven slots of course, and standard now on all the 2024s, uh, Sahara Rubicon uh, trim levels is the LED headlamps, running lights, and running lights in the fenders, as well as the fog lights. Now I'm gonna turn all those on at the end of the video so you can see just how bright they are. Definitely a nice upgrade that Jeep's made those standard. This one also has the front trail camera, which we'll check out in a little bit. This one also has the color match fenders, uh, the step bars on there as well like the Sahara lettering on here. This one is equipped with the Bridgestone Dueler tires. These are 25570 R18s and they are HT. So kind of think that means highway terrain or um, kind of an all season tire for the highway. Painted and polished aluminum wheels. New for 2024 are these emblems, the Jeep logo there. It used to be the Jeep lettering, now it's the Jeep logo. And uh, all the wheels were updated for 2024 as well. You still get these sandals in the plastic shroud. One thing to note though, no more antennas on the body. You get the trail rated badge on both sides now. The antennas are now in the windshield and all of these windshields on the Saharas and Rubicons are now Gorilla Glass. Still have the T50 on the doors to get these doors off. We did a demo on how to take your doors off your JL that's in the description below, as well as all the pricing and availability on this vehicle is in the description as well as options. So definitely go check that out in the description. Leave a comment. Let me know what you think of the video so far. 2024 Jeep Wrangler four-door Sahara. Here's the original window sticker. I'm not gonna go through everything, but most of it. So uh, feel free to pause this at any point. Ask any questions in the description below as well. Has a two liter I-4 dual overhead cam, direct injection turbo engine with the start stop capabilities, eight speed automatic transmission. Everything on your left here is your standard equipment. So the command track, part-time four wheel drive system, um, the 345 overall top gear ratio, backup cam, windshield with cor Corning Gorilla Glass, security alarm and all that good stuff there. Interior features, also all the standard equipment. And then exterior features, all the standard equipment. You can see that LED tail lamps, fog lights, and headlights are all standard now. Optional equipment starts with the Earl Gray, or I'm sorry, the Earl Clear Coat exterior paint, which is $595. McKinley trimmed power seats are $1,995. bucks, And I think they're worth it. The first time you could ever get a power seat in a Wrangler was 2024. So that is new for this year. Technology Group is 2,295 bucks, gives you the Alpine premium sound, the HD radio, GPS navigation, connected travel and traffic services, the Uconnect 5 with the 12.3 touchscreen display. That is also standard for every single um, Wrangler out there, not the nav, but the Uconnect 5 with the 12.3 touchscreen. Integrated voice command and integrated off-road camera. So this is the only um, screen you can get in the Wranglers at the moment. Safety group is 1295, gives you blind spot and cross path detection, automatic high beam, headlamp control, park sense, rear park assist system. This one also has the all weather floor mats by Mopar, which are 
some of my favorite floor mats. Uh, the black tubular side steps are an option as well, $495. The Sky One Touch Power Top is $3,995. And uh, that gives you the removable rear quarter windows as well. We did a demo on how to take those out. If you want to check that out, that's in the upper right hand part of the screen. And these wheels are actually an option as well, $1,095. 6325 is the total MSRP on this Jeep. If you want to get all the rebates and incentives and in pricing, on this vehicle in the upper right hand part of the screen is a link to our website also linked in the description below and if the title says sold that means this one is sold if it doesn't say sold there's a good chance it's still available three or 36 bumper to bumper five year 60 powertrain there are your miles per gallon 20 20 20 and your greenhouse and smog rating and it's not really rated for any safety ratings at the moment except rollover is three stars so uh, they will probably get to those safety ratings soon one thing I wanted to point out real quick, when you get these McKinley leather seats, I didn't think they were gonna do it, but in the Saharas, they came back with the leather dash with the gold trim. <laughs> Looks so good. Just a really good looking dash in this vehicle. Has the color match fenders in back as well. LED tail lamps, and like I said, I'm gonna turn all those lights on in just a little bit so you can see uh, just how bright they are you get the led or i'm sorry the backup parking sensors on here of course the matching spare tire and wheel so that alpine system gives you the factory subwoofer you also have the case this case not for your front hardtop pieces but this case is for your side windows and in that demo that i did uh, you can see how they go into that case because it's kind of tricky um, and then you get a storage area under here. You get door hinge and roof bolts and windshield bolts. Obviously, this one won't have the roof bolts because it doesn't have the normal hard top. Um, but you can see all the bars in here are color matched. So when you do have the side windows off, it doesn't look too weird. Little Easter egg that not a lot of people are aware of. You get these seven slots back here on the back door as well. And then the JL badge. Two-door, four-door wheelbase and overall length, as well as water fording, where it was developed and where it's built. So on the Sky One Touch tops, the back still operates like a hard top. Nothing's different there. And uh, because it's a turbo, you may think it needs premium, but it doesn't say anything on the cap about needing premium, premium fuel, so I think it's uh, okay probably to not put premium in it. I think Jeep recommends that you do premium and then you'll get better engine life or better performance, but I don't think it's necessary that you have to do that. Has the enter and go system, so you just have the key fob in your pocket, put your hand in there, it'll automatically unlock. These mirrors do have heated mirrors and blind spot monitoring. Let's take a quick look at the back seats. And I wanna show you this topographic all weather formats. These are 170 bucks, but they look so good. Get the Jeep logo on there and they all button down so they're nice and tight in there, obviously measured perfectly. From the family, you get latch factory, the uh, latch child safety system back here. I'm gonna show you the other new thing for 2024. Very nice safety feature. You can see the, these seats fold down nice and flat. But the safety feature that I'm talking about is that you now get side airbags front and back seats are side curtain airbags they've also changed the map lights around used to be in a big stack right here now they're by the speakers so i'm sure that changed because they did those side airbags you also get back here two usbs two usb c's and 115 volt 150 watt plug-in here's your rear air vents and window controls child safety locks on the back doors and you can see the door trim is that McKinley leather with the gold stitching as well. Really like that. Boy, I think if this thing was in black with this interior, wow, that would look so good. I like the Earl too. Um, you know, if you were wondering, this is a really true color uh, in the picture studio here. This is pretty much exactly what it looks like with the camera and everything. Sometimes in the picture studio, the colors don't always come out as advertised but this is one of those colors that does you get the sahara stitched into the backrest you get the gold stitching down the bolsters here looks really good and the power seat of course 
um, side curtain airbags down by the knees as well. You also get lumbar here, back tilt adjust, all other floor mats. This is new for 2024. You get the Jeep and the Gladiator back to back. Auto headlamps, tilt telescopic steering wheel, power locks, power mirrors. We'll hop inside, take a look at the radio and everything on the inside, and then we'll get to those lights. Don't want to make this video too long. Get the seven inch LCD display. Get the stitching on that steering wheel as well. Looks really, really good. Probably my favorite part about this whole vehicle is this interior color combo. Really like it. Has the adaptive cruise control, regular cruise controls. You get the audio controls in the back of the steering wheel, Bluetooth and information center controls on the left. Um, you get a little gold um, piece right there. That's metal. They changed the dash up here because of the bigger radio. They also changed your vents. They used to be these vents like those vents right here, but now, or actually they were, they were on the sides and now they're on the bottom underneath the radio because the radio is so big. Let me dim that down for you. It does have the navigation system. The Uconnect 5 radio is supposed to be five times faster than the old Uconnect 4. And uh, it's pretty apparent when you switch between apps just how quickly everything shows up. Here are all your sources that you can have, AM, FM, Sirius, Bluetooth, USB, and AUGS hookups, as well as Alexa. The navigation system is really what's a lot faster. Um, but the other things that show up are, like I said, the apps in here. I'm not going to go through everything, but you can see everything that this radio comes with. A lot of this stuff is just quick links to other parts of the radio. Um, like your off-road pages, watch how fast these pop up. So like almost immediately before I had to like wait for that to come up and talk about other stuff while it was coming up, you can see those steering angles change as I turn the steering wheel and actually the wheels up top change as well to reflect those angles. You got your transfer case if it was locked or unlocked, latitude, longitude, and altitude. You get your accessory gauges, your pitch and roll, and then your front camera. I gotta turn the vehicle accessory two. And you can see that that gives you dynamic grid lines for where your tires are going to be, which is really nice for off-roading so that you're not going to hit that log or hit that rock and scuff up your wheels and stuff like that. Um, and then you can clean the camera. So that's pretty cool. It actually turns on the rear wiper on the uh, back window too. Speaking of the backup camera, they made those crystal clear as well with the dynamic grid lines. And yeah, that's everything with the off-road pages. So um, just wanted to show you that real quick. You also get all this stuff, system and other. And down here, everything from here down is exactly the same as the 2023. Volume tune, climate controls, heated seats, heated steering wheel, start stop capability, stability control, speed select crawl, parking sensors. You can turn the screen off, power windows. USB, USB-C, and AUX jack. Here's a 4x4 shifter, the 8-speed automatic transmission. They still have the big, chunky key fobs with the flipper key. Really like these key fobs. Remote start on there as well, and they sit nicely right there. And once again, let's just look at that dash. Look how good that looks. Way better than the cloth. Way better than that Gore-Tex material that you see on the Rubicons. Um, Jeep, if you're listening, make them all like this. It looks really good. And I'm sure that leather is going to hold up really nicely too. Center console has the same stitching on it. And then I'm going to do a test here and open up this top for you. And it's pretty wet on top. So we'll see if anything gets wet inside of here. Auto um, dimming mirror on there. And one more little Easter egg. You get seven little slots right there. Um, of course, representing the seven continents. Jeep has been on. So let's see. So we started at 1201 or 1401, I should say. And so far, I didn't see any drips. That's pretty good. I was afraid that everything was going to get soap. So 1401. Takes right around 20 seconds for that thing to open. Up here is assist and SOS buttons. There's your controls for that top, and then your home link buttons for your garage door security systems and lighting systems. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn on all the lights for you, and then we'll turn the lights off in the picture studio so that you can see just how bright they are. I think I went through everything. If I missed anything, 
let me know in the comments below. I always want to make these as thorough as I can for everybody out there. Corning Gorilla Glass, you get the little gorilla on there. Um, are those any stronger than the old windshields? I don't know. I haven't seen it so far. Um, anyways, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause the video and we're going to turn off all the lights in the picture studio and do a final walk around on this Jeep. All right, so there you go. You can see just how bright these lights are. They look really good. All the LEDs have that nice purplish blue hue to them. Very crisp, very bright lights. What I love about it is just how wide the light view is um, and just how bright it is as well. Definitely a nice upgrade. These lights were an option in 2023. Now they're standard which I think Jeep should have done a long time ago. So you can see when that top is open, it does stick up just a little bit. LED lights on the back here look really good. You also get the LED license plate lights. And that's pretty much the whole walk around. Just wanna thank everybody for checking out the video and hopefully you enjoyed it and learned a little bit about the Jeep Wrangler. Remember, the full description and all the options and everything, as well as a link to our website is in the description below. If it says sold in the title, it's sold. If it's not in the title, there's a good chance that it's still available. But thank you so much for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on this video and all the videos on our YouTube channel. And if you wanna see more pictures of this Jeep or one of our other 550 new and used cars, trucks, SUVs, minivans, Wranglers, you name it, we gotta to go to the website right there, summitauto.com, full pictures and descriptions of every single vehicle, all at summitauto.com. And if you'd like to check out more HD videos, definitely go to YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash summitauto. Click the bell notifications, get updates on the videos I do each and every day here at Summit Auto. In fact, in a second, you will see a link to subscribe to my YouTube channel in the upper left, a link to all the Wrangler videos I've done in the upper right, almost 500 videos on there, a link to this vehicle on our website in the lower left, and a link to one of our latest YouTube videos in the lower right. Click those, check us out. We're super excited to help you with this ultra clean, brand new, really good looking, awesome interior, 2024 Jeep Wrangler Sahara in Earl Clearcoat. Thanks again for checking out the video. Remember to like, subscribe, and share on the YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. Thanks again.